owner of the kayak and tubing company that coined the phrase, shoot the hooch, claims he's now being forced to shut down his business. The company has helped thousands of people safely float on down the Chattahoochee River for decades. Yeah, that's right. 11 Alive's Brittany Klein-Peter has a story you're only going to see on 11 Alive. It's that time of year again when everyone is trying to get in the Chattahoochee, but not all parts of the river are created equal, and it's costing one man his business. Well, we're out of business um, right now because we will not put anybody in unsafely. It's emotional. You know, that tree actually goes to the right there. It really goes even under the water more. So, and that one goes under the water more. Because Bill O'Dray is always worrying about others. And what's really sad that I can't tell this group of people that they need life jackets. The longtime owner of the iconic Shoot the Hooch tubing and kayaking company says he's had to put his business on hold. After getting the news from the National Park Services that he would have to move his business and more than a dozen employees to a new section of the river. We've told them for years they need more signs. The new location would be 22 miles north off the Abbott's Bridge boat ramp in Duluth. And O'Dre says unlike his old location, the river here is not safe for kayakers, tubers, or even swimmers. Completely different environment, completely different stream flow, completely different trees down. While we were there today, we spotted a group getting stuck in branches and rocks. And when the water gets up to 2,000 CFS, you can't see any of the branches or anything in the river. The river lover and business owner says despite expressing his concerns, officials told him the decision was based on a recent study and is final. Tonight, Audrey says he won't put anyone in danger, even if it means giving up the thing he loves the most. We will not subject our people to this safety issue. We, we're not going to have anybody drown. Reporting from the Chattahoochee River, Brittany Klein-Peter, 11 Alive News. Now, we did reach out to the National Park Services to learn more about why they're moving the drop-in location for Shoot the Hooch. We are still waiting to hear back.